हेलो रनर वेलकम इन माय लेक्चर ऑफ फेपटैक आई एम पवन कुमार असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटर आईटी इन उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी नैनीताल टुडे आई विल डिस्कस टॉपिक क्लाइंट साइट एंड सर्वर साइट टेक्नोलॉजी बेसिक ऑफ एस टी एम डॉक्यूमेंट स्ट्रक्चर द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस इज वी नो द एस एलिमेंट्स वेब ब्राउजर एस कमेंट्स एस बेसिक्स and html text formatting so what is an html elements an html element is defined by a start tag some contents and end tag tag name content goes here and finally we close the tag name the html element is everything for from the start tag to the end tag h1 tag for first heading and we close h1 tag p tag for first paragraph and we finally close the p tag so what is an html elements here start tag elements end tag in this example we use h1 tag the element here is for first heading and finally we close h1 tag it is also called end tag and next example we here p tag p tag is a start tag element for here is for paragraphs and we finally close p tag web browser there are very uh, various web browsers available in the market google chrome microsoft edge mozilla firefox safari opera tor web browser the purpose of web browser is to read html documents and display, display them correctly html comments to add the comment tag we use exclamation mark then dash dash comments dash dash and the symbol greater than to html code is a good coding practice so that both the coder and the reader can benefit from from assistance in understanding the code the common text tag is beneficial for code debugging this is a example in this we use the comment so firstly we define the doc type html tag then we use html tag and after that we we'll declare the body tag then we use html comments so here we use this is a heading tag it want be display by browser then we use h1 tag the content here is my first heading after that we close the h1 tag after that we use the comment the comment tag is this is single line tag it want to be display by the browser then we use s2 tag the content here is this is single line comment after that we close s2 tag and we close the body tag after that we close the html tag so the output of this program is my first heading this is a single line comments so the basic html basics the firstly we learn html heading this tags enable us to offer headings to website content the majority of these tags are contained within the body tag each tag use a different style 
and size of font to show the heading. HTML offer 6 heading type h1, h2, h3, h4, h5, x6. So this is a simple example. Here we use different headings. So firstly we doc type HTML then we use HTML tag then after HTML tag we use body tag and then we use the comment this is heading tag it won't be displayed by browser so after that we use h1 tag in this the content is my first heading after that we close the h1 tag the next tag we use here is s2 tag in s2 tag after that the content is my first heading then we close the s2 tag then we use here s3 tag in the content section we use my first heading and we close the s3 tag and so on finally we close the body tag and html tag so the output is my first heading and my first heading. So all things are similar but the size of all are different. Next is HTML paragraph. We can write paragraph statements on a web page with the aid of these tags. The begin with a p tag and terminate with an slash p tag next is html break to insert a single line type break use dictate use this tags there are no closing tag on it the break tag is represented in html as br the next is html horizontal line to insert all horizontal margins with the help of a horizontal line running from left to right hand side of the page. Use this tags. The horizontal tag is represented as HR. So this is a example with the help of this example we create, create better understanding. So firstly we use doc type HTML tag, then HTML tag, then we define the body tag. After that we use p tag. The content is my first paragraph. Then we then we use tag br. Br tag is used for break. Then we use the content my first paragraph. Then we use br tag. Br tag is used for break then the content is my first paragraph we use br tag then we close the paragraph tag with the help of slash p then we use the tag hr after hr we use p tag in this we use the content my first paragraph then we use br tag after that we use my first paragraph then we use br tag my first paragraph then we use br tag finally we close the paragraph tag with the help of slash p then we use close the body with the help of slash body tag and finally we close the HTML with the help of slash HTML tag. So the output of this program is my first paragraph, then in next line my first paragraph, then in next line my first graph paragraph. After that we single uh, this contents are differentiated with, with the help of single line. HTML images and image can be 
added to our website using the image tag. The image is put inside this tag. We use img image img src equal source of image in double coded and close the tag. There are two formats for inserting an image into image tag. If the image is the same folder, the path only has to include the image name and format. The path name and format of image must all be specified if the image is located in another folder. So with the help of this video, we can create better understanding of this example. Next is HTML text formatting. Text can be formatted in HTML just like it is in Microsoft Word or other text editing tool. We will go over a few of these choices. So firstly we discuss bold or strong. The B tag is used for bold or strong and the closing and slash b is used for close the bold tag must include the content need to be bold the text can also be made be made strong with additional semantic relevance relevance by using the tag strong elements additionally it begins with a strong tag and concluded with slash strong tag this is a basic example to create better understanding. Doc type HTML, and then we use head tag, then we use title tag, in title tag, it bold text, and finally we close the title tag. Then we also close head tag, then we use body tag. In body tag, we use comment normal text then we use p tag, uh, p tag for my first paragraph then we close the p tag then we use comment bold text and here we use p tag my first paragraph then we close the p tag Next is we, with the help of tag B, we use here we bold the contents. Next is strong text comment. We here we use P tag. After that, we use strong tag my first paragraph. Then we close the strong tag and we also close the P paragraph P paragraph tag and finally we close the body and HTML tag so the output is my first paragraph and the my first paragraph and my first paragraph the last two lines in is in bold next is italic or emphasis size text the text is italicized using the i elements it start with the i tag and concluded with the slash i tag the text is emphasized with the em element and which has additional semantic significance it start with the tag em and ends with e slash em highlighting text the html mark tag can be used to highlight text as well it begin with the tag mark and add end with, with the tag slash mark so this is a basic example here we use doc tag html then we use hat tag then we use the title tag in which the content is italic and highlighted tag and finally we close the title tag after that we use the 
we close the head tag and after that we use body tag in which we use the command italic test tag test we here after that we use p tag p tag and we use i tag my the content here is my first paragraph and finally we close the i tag and also close the p tag next comment tag is emphasize tags here we use p tag and we use em tag the content here is my first paragraph and we close the em tag and finally we also close the p tag the next is tag is highlighted text and here we use p tag and we use the mark tag my first paragraph after that we close the mark tag and we also close p tag body tag and html tag also so the output of this progr program is we here we my first paragraph my first paragraph and my first paragraph the 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 starting uh, upper two is in italic and the last is in bold form so the learning object outcomes of this lecture as following it create better understanding of html elements it create better understanding of web browser it create better understanding of various html comments it also create better understanding of html basics and it create better understanding of text html text formatting thanks